I've despised Nike literally since like third grade. I think since I started playing soccer and I started hearing things about how Nike ran their business and how they essentially use sweatshops to produce their products and they have these these villages <laughs> full of just workers that are completely underpaid and can't even afford to live essentially. They, they live in these tiny rooms. But anyways, I've hated Nike for a long time so I've made a lot of videos about Nike on my channel because I've been doing this for like a decade. I was hating on them well before then but I've had a voice on the internet for like a decade now. And every single time I make a video about Nike, I get the same comments. Well, the original skateboarders wore Nike, so Nike obviously did something for the skateboarding community. And blah, 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 blah. Shut the fuck up, you're stupid, okay? Here's the thing. There was a time after the skateboard was invented, before real skate shoes were developed. Yes, people wore Nikes during that time period. Why? Because they had to have something on their fucking feet when they skateboarded. That doesn't mean that Nike had anything to do with skateboarding. That simply means that their shoes existed alongside skateboards. Woo, fucking mind blowing, right? So Vans has been doing this since 1966. I don't know if you've noticed, but after 1966, you, you notice this drop off in Nike. They just kind of disappear. Why is that? Because skateboarders were supporting companies that actually supported skateboarding. Because that's what Vans did. Vans didn't start out as a shoe company. They started out, didn't start out as a skate shoe company. They started out as a, a shoe company. They were just making shoes. That happened to work really well for skateboarders. Skateboarders picked up on it. They gave them some feedback and they started making shoes that fit that lifestyle better. Shoes that worked better for skateboarding. Skateboarding. They weren't making basketball shoes. They weren't making fucking cleats. They were making skateboard shoes. And because of that, skateboarders supported them. Now in 1997, Nike tried to come in and they tried to... They didn't even really have a skate shoe. They just had some shoes that they were going to try to pedal as skateboard shoes. And, and they wanted to sell them wherever the fuck they wanted. And core shops were like, no, we're not going to carry your shit if you're just going to sell it in the mall. We want special shit. And it, this is something a lot of people don't know. If you go to your local skate shop and you try to pick up a, like a DC shirt, you can get all kinds of DC shirts. If you go to the mall, you get just the basic logo most of the time. Why is that? Because they've made special deals with core skate shops so that only the skate shops get the good shit. Everybody else gets the boring ass logo bullshit. You ever seen the van shirts that come from the mall? You can always tell the guys that shop at Zoomies. Why? Because we've designed the industry that way. Okay? So yes, early skateboarders did wear Nike, but that was only because they didn't have anything else to wear. What else were they gonna put on their fucking feet before skate shoes existed? I don't know. I don't know what these kids expected. I don't know if they just don't understand how things work, but Nike didn't support skateboarding in the beginning. They may have had something to do with it, but I assure you, they did not put as much into skateboarding as these core companies have. And yes, they have tried in this latest venture, but they fucked us over in a lot of ways. I don't know if you remember back in 2002, most of you probably weren't skating then, but Nike made this deal that they were only going to sell to core skate shops. Now you can get them at the mall. What's up with that? Oh, that's right. They went back on their deal because they're liars. They have terrible business practices. They, if you watch a documentary about Nike, there is no way you would be able to bring yourself to buy Nike shoes. They literally, there's piles and piles of souls in villages and they just burn them right where kids play. And what happens with burning rubber when you inhale it? It ain't good for you. That's just one of the many things that they do. Is, is, oh, they also vastly underpay these people. And I understand you have to make your products as cheaply as possible and sell them for as much as you can get stupid people to buy them for in order to maximize the profits. I get that. But you don't have to treat people like slaves to fucking do it. And if you like this video, comment, rate, and subscribe because I'm done ranting about this shit for now, but I'll be back.